Hey, Scott Lara, president of militaryfairs.com and uh, founder of thecruisegenius.com. Hope you're having a great week so far and everybody else is <laughs> commenting on it. So I'll jump on it as well. Uh, cruise uh, with Ben and David. Cruise with Ben and David. And they are content creators, uh, cruise bloggers, you know, just like myself and so many other folks uh, out there creating content uh, for our audiences to share information, tips, reviews of cruising. And I have to say, uh, I really am a big fan of theirs. They've got over 250,000 subscribers. They have great quality content. They're fair and balanced. And I think they're doing a great job out there. And I've listened to some of my friends uh, in this space uh, who have talked about them. Uh, you'll, I'll put the link to their video in here. But they were on an, uh, an MSC cruise ship and they were having a couple good days. They were getting video. And of course they're up in the Yacht Club, which is the ship within a ship. And they are you know, filming up there. They're doing their thing, providing content or creating content, if you will. And I guess somebody at MSC said, hey, you know, stop filming. And that kind of made me think a little bit because when I'm out there, uh, if I'm at an all-inclusive resort or if I'm on a cruise, I am very discreet about it when I record. And now I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max 256. So I'm just like everybody else, you know, that's got a phone and it usually isn't very long until somebody comes up to me, either a cruiser or uh, maybe somebody in the crew will come up to me. Oh, hey, Scott Lara, nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan. Can I get a picture? This, that, and the other. And I've never been asked to stop filming. Now, granted, I don't have a huge camera. I don't have a bunch of camera equipment. I'm not, you know, over the top with my my stuff. Uh, I'm I'm discreet about it, and so. And I also make it a point to, you know, if I'm doing public areas, I like doing them at night or first thing in the morning when there aren't people around. So I don't know if anyone knows the real deal behind what happened with this shutdown uh, of these guys. And I, I, I could speculate. My gut tells me that it was probably uh, somebody in the Yacht Club, a, a cruiser, who probably had said, hey, you know, here's these guys filming. And you know, hey, and so that's probably when somebody with MSC uh, went up and said, hey, and, you know, there's enough blame to go around, right? Uh, if they had huge equipment, uh, over-the-top equipment, okay. Uh, if they were inadvertently getting other people in their shots, okay. I, I you know, I, I would understand. And so, I think what this does is, is send a message to content creators like myself to one, to be mindful of when we are filming. Uh, I would say, you know, you got two different things, right? If a cruise line invites myself or invites, you know, other creators to come on board, I think if they do that, then I think all bets are off. I mean, if you're being invited by the cruise line, they've got to understand, hey, you know, you may be bringing bigger equipment, but if you're being invited, chances are that cruise is a media cruise. For example, when I was on Icon of the Seas a couple of weeks ago with my wife, Marty, it was cruise media, it was travel agents and other folks. And so it was no big deal. Everybody on the ship kind of expected there would be people videoing. And there was a lot of people videoing and they had nice setups. I mean, they weren't like, you know, TV studio setups, but I mean, they were like nice setups. Uh, to, to get the best quality video to show uh, the audiences out there. And I have to applaud, applaud Royal Caribbean for that. Thank you, Royal Caribbean, for that, because they took very good care of us. They uh, gave us access, and it was a great experience to be on Icon of the Seas during that three-day preview cruise. And I'm sure it's the way right now, the same way on Sun Princess, where some of my friends are on Sun Princess, and they're getting video and reviews and going to be sharing them with their massive audience. And now the fact of the matter is, this is great for the cruise lines. And I really wish the other cruise lines would, would, see, would look at what Royal Caribbean did with Icon. They had a great uh, opportunity to, to get video and to share it. And it was, it was good. And if you look at my videos on, you, on uh, 
on Icon of the Seas. Just type in Scott Lara, Icon of the Seas. You'll see my, and it was great. Had a really good time. And so just going back to, to Ben and David, I think there are two sides of the story there. Number one, uh, if Ben and David had over-the-top equipment, now granted, they did pay for that cruise on their own. It wasn't like a media cruise. So they paid whatever, five grand or a little over five grand to go on the cruise. You know, still, even if you pay that kind of money, you have to be mindful and respectful of, of people. And I think they are. From the videos I've seen of theirs, which is extremely high quality, uh, great commentary, both good, bad, and ugly. Um, I think they do a very good job. But when you as a consumer are paying you know, for the Haven or for a, a premium experience, you really don't want uh, people you know, videoing because the last thing you want, <laughs> if you're a doctor and you're married and, uh, hey, honey, I got a business trip I got to go on, and uh, he brings his secretary or his new nurse. The last thing that doctor wants to do is uh, being be in a video and hey, who was that? Oh, that was Caitlin. We were on a cruise. I thought you were in. Uh, I thought you were in Chicago at a medical convention. And uh, what are you doing with her? So that that could be one thing. And again, uh, if you look at one of my videos, I think I was at Costa Mujeres. I was in the uh, infinity pool up at the spa, and I saw like a a man and a woman on a a boat down there. They're they're standing on these. Uh, little raft things, you know, the little waterboard things in there, you know, going, I kind of, kind of made a joke about that. But I, what I'm trying to say is that if you're paying that extra price to be in the yacht club or to be uh, in the Haven or something, you want your privacy, you want your privacy and you don't want people videoing. I totally get that. And so my gut, I don't know this for a fact. I'm just throwing it out there. Like a lot of my colleagues are a uh, one gentleman I just saw, you know, was kind of throwing a rock at MSC that MSC ran up to him and said, Hey, shut down. You can't do your iPhone. You can't do this. They just totally shut him down. But like I said, my gut, I may be wrong. Uh, but my gut tells me that it was probably some passengers up in the yacht club who said, Hey, listen, you know, this is obtrusive. They're ruining my vacation. We want peace and quiet. And these guys are running all over the ship getting video. But on the other hand, I respect uh, Ben and David, I respect uh, all my colleagues in this space who are bringing uh, cruise news, reviews, interviews uh, to the public because for the most part, and I'd say all of us in the cruise media, our goal is to share our passion of cruising, uh, the new ships. Uh, I love going on new ships and especially with the icon. I loved sharing that. Uh, I was on MSC, uh, MSC Seashore, had a great time on there. And that's what I like doing. I love being out there, sharing my passion of cruising. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran, over 150 days on Holland American Line, over 75 days on Carnival. I've been on MSC. I've been on NCL. I've been on Virgin Voyages. And, and I love Virgin Voyages, adults only. Uh, I, I did, a video, did video on that as well. And uh, I, I think the, the leadership did know I was on there. Uh, I let them know I was going and uh, I had a great time. But again, I, I just think there's a balance. I think there's a balance between us in the cruise media being mindful of passengers, but I also think uh, on the other side, uh, cruise lines, I appreciate the ones I've worked with who've been very kind to me about being able to come on and to uh, video. Now, I know what you're asking. Well, hey, Scott, are these cruise lines paying you or are you getting a discount or you know, uh, whatever. T to be totally transparent, in addition to being the cruise genius, uh, I am a travel agent. I'm the president of militaryfairs.com. And so I'm in the media. I've been on our local TV station up here in Jacksonville, Channel 4, many times talking about travel and passports. And uh, when bad things happen, uh, the, the TV station will usually call me and ask me for a comment on that. But just in conclusion, uh, with Ben and David, huge fans of you guys. I think you're doing a great job. And again, I think uh, there's a balance. And that, that's my thoughts on that. Scott Lara, president of militaryaffairs.com, your one-stop shop for travel. If you're a member of the military, if you're a veteran like I am or a family member of a military person, go to militaryaffairs.com for airfare hotel. You can email me directly, scott at militaryaffairs.com. And I'm also the founder of thecruisegenius.com. Just type in Scott Lara, L-A-R-A, in Google. You'll see all my stuff. 
Hope you have a great week. Thank you and uh, appreciate you.